Good morning. Today is uh, today is Wednesday, March the eighth. The time right now, in Singapore is eleven o three in the morning. And what a night it was overnight uh, on Wall Street itself. My, all major markets has a massive, massive move except cryptocurrencies, uh, which basically maintain a a, a a sea of calm. Uh, all other asset class started to move aggressively last night on the back of the uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve, uh, Jeremy Powell, actually testify in front of Congress and what. He said last night shook the market uh, violently because he did mention something like he's going uh, the market uh, he's prepared to or rather the Federal Reserve is prepared to hide rates even more aggressive than the market has expected. So that gave the market the basis for taking off the money off the table and we can see a massive sell-off across many asset classes and also a rally, a very strong rally in the dollar. Okay, so let's go through one by one. In the Dow Jones, we can see that overnight we can see this massive pullback uh, based on uh, what we have seen so far, basically erasing what gain the market have actually achieved since last Thursday. So at the beginning of yesterday, the market, in fact, yesterday afternoon, uh, or, sorry, on Tuesday, we can see the market actually stabilized and to go up and uh, before the market actually opens in new york the market was basically holding near yesterday's uh, the previous day's closing price and the moment uh, the chairman actually make, make that remark the market immediately sold off violently and we can see that the dow jones actually lost a one 1.72% uh, in the process loss, something like 575 points. Okay, the current market price for Dow Jones right now is 32,856. Uh, so we can see that the Dow Jones has basically returned back most of its gain for last week and now is on course to take out the 32,500 and route to 32,200 level. So this was originally my target because I did mention on the way down from 34,712, this tree wave pullback does not look complete and the ideal level in which I would like to see prices at will be at 32,200 at the minimum and right now with this latest development it looks like we may actually see that happen so the key here is 32,500 most likely it will be taken up tonight okay and tonight we have the Fed chairman again testifying in front of the house senate committee so basically uh, he's probably going to repeat what he said last night and I think the market will not take it very kindly this time okay so on the S&P 500, the market did not fall as uh, fierce as the Dow Jones. It lost something like 1.5% to just under 4,000 points. You can see that this, this basically erased everything that it gains over the last three trading days. And we can see the market right now is uh, uh, in danger of taking out uh, last week low at 3,928. And if this is the case, and if this accelerate be, uh, below the rising channel for this, I think the market is going to go all the way down. Okay, So be careful about holding on to longs because this market looks like it's about to collapse. Okay. Over in the NASDAQ, the market dropped the list. The market only fell something like 1.2% uh, overnight uh, for a loss of 150 points. So on basis, on, a, on this basis, the NASDAQ is a lot stable and uh, it has not lost back all the gain that he has managed to achieve uh, last week. Uh, it is still above last Thursday price basically. So uh, based on what we are seeing in the Dow as well as in the S&P 500, there's every possibility the NASDAQ will eventually be pulled down as well below 11,830. Okay, so this will be the immediate target for uh, for this market. So basically, we will have to see how the market uh, reacts as the days unfold, especially into Friday's non farm payroll. Okay, over in Asia, we can see the Nikkei 225 has uh, moved against all odds and it's actually trading higher. Uh, at a, at a, at a get go, we can see that Nikkei actually been trading higher and it is the highest. For the year so far, the intraday high is 28,431, which is the highest so far it has achieved. And based on this different kind of sentiment at work here, the market may actually come back to challenge the 28,500 in no, uh, in very short notice. Okay, Over in the Hang Seng, we can see the prices are beginning to unravel. Uh, although we have an up... Uh, up move yesterday in the morning but it ended very badly towards the second half of the day creating uh, uh, a bit of uncertainty and this morning it decided that uh, it wants to go in line with the uh, Wall Street overnight movements and is currently trading uh, just above the 20,000 levels so every possibility will break last week low at 19,720 728 okay so we can see prices are likely to move even lower and if it breaks this level which is uh let me see what the level is if, if the market break this level on the on the it uh 
on the day on the daily basis then this market is going to go all the way down 19,300 is the point here uh to be exact 19,303 is where the market needs to hold if the market cannot hold at this level the entire rally from 14,597 is going to be over and we're going to see a new pattern unfold okay over in china we can see the csi 300 has taken out below the uh rising channel right now it is uh just a sign that the market may not actually uh, be able to sustain much longer uh, but immediately uh, even beyond this rising channel the immediate support based on a three-way pullback we should be able to see a challenge of uh, the 4,000 points right now we are at 4,027 uh, this bracket of prices if anything between 3,917 to 3,965 so this area here may actually hold the market if there is no further sell-off okay so do watch out for uh, buyers to re-emerge around these levels okay over in commodities we can and see that crude oil prices uh, continue to charge higher just before the uh, uh, FO, uh, just before the Fed chairman uh, testimonial and we can see that the prices actually unraveled aggressively it lost uh, something like more than three dollars from a high of eighty dollars and ninety cent it just missed my profit taking point which I actually placed a profit taking point eighty two dollars and uh, somehow it did not come but we still have a chance because uh, uh, Although the dollar is strong, but we have underlying competing factor at the work here. We have uh, a tight supply going on in the States. So maybe that could actually uh, be a factor to consider. But based on the dollar movement, the dollar right now is super strong. And if that is the case, it is actually uh, a counter current to all commodity prices, including crude oil. Okay, So we can see natural gas actually managed to hold out very, very well. Natural gas actually end the day with a marginal gain of uh, uh uh with a bit of mar margin again because on friday uh on the day before which is uh monday market closed at two dollars and 57 cent last night it managed to close at two dollars and 68 cents so it's actually gained a bit of ground uh, although currently in asia it is losing a little bit of ground so far but by and large you can see that if this is a three wave push then there's every possibility market may actually test the three dollars and 56 cents eventually okay i'm basically long natural gas and i want to see how market actually unfolds over in the gold market this is basis the comex gold prices and we can see yesterday we saw a massive pullback uh, in gold prices this come on the back of a very uh, of uh, a resurgent dollar okay like i said a strong dollar is actually a counter current to all commodity prices including gold as well and uh good thing is uh the day before on monday actually i saw this move struggling uh and i actually exit all my long positions so i i, I I actually managed to escape this uh, sell-off last night uh, if not i'll be back to square one so basically this is a move that the market may actually go down a lot lower uh, to maybe test a one thousand eight hundred dollars level okay so this is uh, a based on three-way pattern okay so we have to see how this three-way pattern actually unfolds would it be something more serious which i think it may be because i've always maintained that the uh the cycle for precious metals will not bottom until somewhere in april or may so we have another one and a half month more to go before april ends so we can see that until then uh, the market cycle is in favor to the downside for gold and precious metals at large okay over in silver market we can see the silver continue to sell off currently is trading below the 20 dollars per ounce it's currently trading at 19 dollars and 97 cents and it looks like it may actually go down a lot lower to test the 19 dollars level okay i have a target at 18 dollars and 94 cents so let's see whether the market can actually get there okay over the dollar we can see that the dollar index you can see that dollar index has a, has a very aggressive gain and this morning on uh uh yeah actually extended its gain uh, to the year's high so far. So based on the dollar index, it's at 105.80 currently, and it looks like it may actually push even higher. My target uh, for this move is 108.19, uh, based basis the uh, dollar index futures, okay? Of course, if the dollar is strong, the other currency will have to pull back, and uh, that is especially so in the major currencies. We can see that the euro dollar, having tested uh, a high of one hundred six ninety five, managed uh, did not quite manage to hold on to its gain and actually got slammed down. And right now, based on the closing price itself, it is about at the lowest since the beginning of the year. So we can see that this is about to uh, to show us that the dollar is coming back in a big way and. Uh, 
immediate target is 104, 104 30. Okay, uh, 104 30 looks to be a target that I think is quite achievable. So if the market take out 102 22, and then everything changes very uh, dramatically because this means that the rebound from 95, uh, 0, 9, 5, 3, 5, all the way to 110 is over, and the market is resuming its larger degree downtrend. Okay. Over in the sterling, we can see that the market has actually decided that it wants to go down. After having consolidated within the band of 119.15 to 121.50, the market resolved to the downside after two weeks of consolidation. And this is currently at the lowest level for 2023. So it does not uh, present a very neat picture going forward. It does look like we may see even lower prices going forward for sterling. Okay. So over in the Aussie, we also saw a very aggressive sell-off. Uh, despite the R, uh, RBA yesterday actually high rates one more round and instead of the Aussie rising, the Aussie is actually sold off on the back of what the Fed chairman said last night. And we can see that this move here is pretty aggressive and it may actually continue to go down because the RBA have a signal that they are likely to pause the rate hike for a while. So you what? Overnight with that statement, we, uh, uh, speculators would not have to worry about higher interest rate for Australia dollars. So making me say that if on the back of this very uh, aggressive and very hawkish view by the Fed chairman, it does not give any consolation to those people who are holding long Aussie position. In fact, it is right now uh, more advantageous to be holding short position in the Aussie. Okay, that coupled with the uh, weakness in the gold market, of course, compound the weakness in the Aussie market. Currently, it's at 0 0.6577 and it is again at the lowest levels for the 2023 so far. Okay, over in dollar year, we did not see a very massive run up, although prices has been reacting to the upside this morning. Uh, high so far this morning is at 137.68. Uh, sorry, 137.68, correct. And uh, it looks like it's going to challenge the immediate uh, uh, hurdle here is 138.17 levels, okay? So my target has all, all the while been maintained at 139 and that 130, 139 looks to be quite achievable with this uh, new development uh, as far as interest rate is concerned, okay? Over in dollar cap, we can see a more resolute rise uh, in the uh, exchange rate in favor of dollar. Right now with this three-wave rally, the market is right now in my sweet zone at 137.48. 41 to 138.54. So the market has technically hit my target level. So be very careful where it will go. But if the market should search beyond 138.55 and then take out 139.78, then I think everything is gone. The market uh, will now favor the long dollar scenario. Okay. Now, the only market that did not really react in any big way is actually the cryptocurrency market. The market did not move anywhere aggress and near as aggressive as the other asset classes. Yes, Bitcoin did went out to a marginal low, but it did not go down in the same magnitude of a loss that we saw in equity markets or even in the currency markets. So we can see that eventually the Bitcoin is slightly to drift lower to test the uh, 21,500 levels to as low as 21,000. So I'm actually looking to buy okay uh, uh previously whatever i have bought i have square off and now i'm looking to reposition at a lower level and i hope that this one it will be a right move okay uh, over in ethereum uh, it was even uh, more stable than bitcoin it hardly moved at all so it has been consolidating for the last five trading sessions and it looks like uh, eventually it will probably will give way to the downside uh, my target for this move to the downside in a three-way pullback from the high of 1742 is actually between 1450 to 1495 so between this breakout of price actually i am actually placing an order to buy and i think that this three-way rally will hold and then it will maybe uh, create a condition for another push higher this is all i have for you now remember tonight we still have the fed chairman testi uh, uh, testifying in front of the house senate committee so uh whatever he said last night is, is probably going to be repeated again and that will reinforce the negative outlook for equity markets in favor of the dollar so if you're holding on to dollar position uh, well and good uh, if you're holding to long well and good if you're holding to short maybe you want to exit and if you're holding long to equities maybe it's time to bail out as well and of course for gold market right now it's looking a bit soft it's likely to go uh, even to lower prices uh, going forward so the big number to watch out for will be this friday non farm payroll so we have another 48 hours to go before that and in the meantime uh, stay safe and stay profitable bye bye take care